Hello, my name is Kemi Pamoti, and here is my son, Todu. I love him so much. We are from Lagos, Nigeria, West Africa. My son here was uh, diagnosed with BSD, ventricular septal defect, since he was born. And uh, the doctor in charge at uh, Lagos State Teaching Hospital, Nigeria, Dr. Annie Masham. She's been very great and wonderful to me and to my son. She's been monitoring him and uh, taking care of my son medically, definitely, since uh, that time, till the time that we came to Kim's. She introduced Kim's to us in last year, December, about last year, November, and uh, advised us that the best thing for us to do um, to save his life is to have an open heart surgery for him. And Kim's will be the best place for us to come to, to have the surgery done. We came to Kim's in February, February 28th. And uh, from the minutes that we came here, we had very great hospitality, right from the airport to the moment we got here. The nursing staffs were really great to us in welcoming us. And uh, my son was very, very happy. He was very friendly with the nurses and the nurses too. Really liked him. A couple of days later, exactly five days later, he had his heart surgery, open heart surgery. It wasn't an easy experience for me. It was the longest five hours of my life. But I thank God he came out. The surgery was very successful. It was conducted by Dr. Anil, Dr. Anil Kumar, a very wonderful man. He was, he's been very supportive um, in terms of even counseling, because he gave me counseling, the risk, and uh, everything that has to do with the heart surgery, before and after effect. Um, I thank God, my son was in intensive care for some days, about four days, three, four days, with very quick recovery. My son was back with me, and uh, I thank God, um, till now, he's very fine. However, about 10 days post-op, which was about uh, March, March 15th, he developed an infusion in his heart, and uh, another surgery had to be done to remove the infusion there. Dr. Anil was very supportive. I was scared. Oh my God, another open one. They're going to open him and I said no. He made me feel very comfortable that I see it was nothing. And God willing, that also went very well. It wasn't as tough as I actually thought it was. In same day, my son was fine. He was eating same day. The second, um, um, second surgery was done, he was fine. Second day, by the third day, he was playing around, and I really thank God for that. And uh, today, day 29th of my stay in Kings, we're ready to leave exactly one month after. He's been set, he's been, um, the doctor has said he's okay to leave, that he can travel now. He has done his fitness test and everything. The nurses have been great, lovely, wonderful people. I love them so much, I'm going to miss a whole lot of them. My son loves them too. <laughs> he loves the long hairs. Um, I really thank everybody, I want to thank everybody in Kings. Starting from Ahmed, Ahmed that took us from the airport, to Dr. Anil, to Sunita, to the dietitian, to the nurses, to Bindu Augustina, to the security people, to the Haimas, um, the, 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 the workers here. I, everybody was very supportive and I really, really like my experience here. Um, I just wish everybody can take this opportunity and uh, come to Kins if you have any kind of health challenges. Kim's, when I, when I heard of Kim's, I thought it was just, oh, pediatric cardiology, that's all they do. But I got to Kim's and it was, a, it was more than expected. Everything has been done in Kim's, from cancer to, to genetics to everything. And um, 
I just hope people will take um, this opportunity if they need any kind of medical um, assistance and come here. It's quite affordable, not too expensive, because I've had a whole lot more expensive places, but King's was quite affordable for me, and I thank God that I came here. My son is doing very fine. He's very okay. He's eating. He has fully recovered, fully healed, and um, I thank God for that. Thank you very much, Dr. Neil. Thank you, Kim. Thank you.